children grow up into adulthood, moving out of their parents' home is often part of the plan. But what happens when that's not a viable option for your child? Naperville News 17's Alyssa Bohenick has the story on one family that's hoping to provide an alternative for adults living with special needs. Meet Luke Cooper, a 23-year-old who enjoys playing video games, watching movies, and all things Halloween. But most of all, Luke enjoys living in the comfort of his own home. Adopted by Matt and his wife when he was just a baby, diagnosed with many special needs, caring for Luke had become part of their daily routine. But as the years passed, they realized there was a reality that needed to be faced. Where are they going to live? You know, as we age, uh, as he ages, where is he going to go? Um, you know, Luke loves living here in his house with his dog. There are very few group homes and spaces available, very, very few in, in Naperville. Um, so we are really kind of stuck as to what, what to do, where was he gonna go? Their plan, allow Luke to live independently with his parents nearby for support. But the single family zoning code they currently live under proved to be a problem. That's why they teamed up with local not-for-profit Little Friends to help others understand the need for change. Luke is a young man, and as a young man, he is wanting to do all the same things that peers his age are doing. He may do them a little bit differently because he's impacted by autism. So if you can have a situation where you can carve out that piece within the home for Luke to have his own space and to still be a part of the Naperville community, that was incredibly important to the Kupals, is that he be able to stay in Naperville because Naperville was all he knew. After trips to the Naperville City Council meeting and Planning and Zoning Commission, the Kupals found success, passing through a residential care unit text amendment that allows families with special needs members to create a separate living space associated with their single family home. In their case, Luke would live in their current home with caregivers and potential roommates, with his parents and in addition in the back of their house, providing an accessible space as they age while being present for Luke when needed. It gives us and other people like us an economic way of staying within our home as we age in place and provide the best possible care for our kids that um, you know, have a hard time dealing with change. Though the text amendment still needs final approval through city council, the Kupals now have a new hope for their family's future. It means everything to us. For us to be able to go out to dinner without having concerns because other people are there for Luke. For us to have that independence that we've not had it means the world to us. And especially as we age, our patience, our physical abilities are gonna decline. You know, it's just, it's the right thing for my bride and I. But more importantly, it's the right thing for Luke. I'm Alyssa Bohenick for Naperville News 17. City Council will make a final vote on the matter in September or early October.